and I'm the project development manager for Peterhead Projects. We are based north of Aberdeen, based in Aberdeenshire. We're uh, based in Peterhead, which is the largest town in Aberdeenshire with approximately 17,500 population. Um, I head up a team of nine staff. I'm the only full-time member of staff and we have six projects. Uh, uh, our first project, which we launched in uh, 2009, is a visitor and information centre which is based in the town centre of Peterhead. Um, we support 70 local traders to showcase their produce, uh, their crafts, uh, actually in our store. Our other project is a recycling project, we're actually a, an award winning project. Um, we have a Green Apple Award uh, evidencing our environmental endeavours to our community. We're about diverting waste from landfill while supporting people uh, experience uh, or sorry gain new experience uh, through uh, work placements, skills development. We've also got a community woodland which we were gifted 40 acres of land from a local businessman and we're developing that into a community uh, woodland uh, focusing on the biodiversity strategy for Scotland ensuring that we're in, encouraging new um, trees and new beasties and new habitats uh, back into the, the community um, while creating new recreational activities for the local community to actually access into. Um, we also run a weekly car boot sale which is in the town centre encouraging people to uh, recycle unwanted household items and things like that um, in a fun, it's, it's a fun and an engaging um, manner. We also run a community market which is the first Saturday of every month in the town centre, again supporting the traders that actually use our, our trading post which is our, our gift and information centre, um, that they can actually take it out into the town centre as well, engaging other people in you know, seeing their, their wares and things like that. And we also just recently took over the community asset transfer um, of the uh, local caravan park. So that's been a very exciting uh, time since March of this year. So this is our first season. We have nine weeks left of the season. We've survived so far. I'm sure we'll survive the next nine, nine weeks as well. Um, we get tremendous support uh, from uh, the DTAS, um, you know, with a number of things of, you know, support, practical support, um, financial support, funding support, legal support, um, sometimes just someone on the other end of a phone that you can actually phone and have a good old moan and come away thinking, oh, that was a wonderful counselling session I've just had, um, but also linking in with um, you know, other development trusts as well. Sometimes you can feel quite isolated at times. There, there has been so many. Um, however, I feel it's two years tomorrow that our recycling project has been trading and that has been our biggest achievement. Um, we have successfully supported, you know, over 126 volunteers through our service. Um, we've also you know, supported over 13,500 volunteering hours. We've successfully diverted over 146 tonnes from landfill and we've generated an income oh, which exceeds 90,000 into the community, which has just been, you know, it's just been absolutely fantastic. It totally exceeded our expectations. Um, you know, when you're developing a, a business plan and you have to look at, you know, projected figures and things like that, and we've exceeded in every component of it, which is just fantastic. But the, the success is totally down to the staff commitment, the volunteers, the commitment of the board, and, you know, the support from the community. It's community-led, so it's community-used, and that's why it's so successful.